of you have been asking about sidechain. Um, a lot of you know how to do this, but I may be doing things slightly differently, um, so you still might be able to learn something from it. But for those of you that don't, this is like a tutorial for sidechain. Um, I'm going to use a pad because you're going to be able to hear that the most, but you can apply this to bass lines, to really absolutely anything. You can apply it to like fast hi-hat grooves as well to get it to, to groove with your drums a bit better. Um, so we're starting off just showing you the before I put side chain on. So it's it's just a, a straight kind of pad with a half time beat. Which is nice, you know, it's, it's chilled, but we can then start thinking about how we're gonna side chain it. Well the first thing I'd do, I'd split up our drum break into kicks, snares and hats or percussion. Um, and then once we've done that, I would then add the compressor that we want to use onto the pad channel. And so you want the pad to be side chaining, and then you want to use either the kick or the snares or some, you know, you can use the perk if you want to be the one that's triggering the compressor. So this is the FabFiltr Pro C, this is the one I tend to use for side chaining and then to get it to side chain you need to click on expert down here and then external external side chain basically and then you want to give it some threshold you can be pretty aggressive with this to be honest um, and then turn off auto because the auto will just make it incredibly loud and simply in logic once you split all your kicks and snares up, you can then just choose which which part of the break is controlling the side chain. So let's have a listen. So you can you can hear that every time the kick hits, the pad ducks ducks down. Now you can adjust some of these parameters. Um, and just have a play around and they'll, they'll affect how the, the pad side chain and for example the release if you jack that up then when the side chain hits it will take a longer time to come back to the, to the side chain signal so listen So you know that can be played with to get maybe a more musical result so it starts fitting in. Um, so yeah, I mean that's kind of I mean it's so it's it's pretty simple really. But so so you can use that for the kick or you could go to the snare. So you can play around with these different styles. I mean, I don't know technically what, what they really mean, but they just they just have a slightly different sound. So that's one way you can side chain. You can chop up your in the, your break and you can use a kick or a snare um, to, to side chain your pad. But if you wanted to maybe side chain to the kick and the snare, then there's a few ways of doing this. You could set up a, a dummy track. Basically what I've done here is set up a, another track and copied my kick up to here. But as you can see I've added some extra kicks in. But we don't want to hear this in, in the mix. We don't want to hear the kick on top of the kick so that would, that would just be too loud. So what we need to do is go from here which says stereo out which takes it to the output and just put no output so then you you won't hear that you won't hear that in the in in the mix at all and then on your pad we need to select the channel which is set up side chain dummy kick and there you can then add extra kicks in 
um, to side chain differently. So here you can see I've put a kick here, put a kick on the snare, kick snare, kick snare. So so every time this will trigger, it will sound like it's been triggered by the kick and the snare. You don't have to worry about what the the dummy signal is. It just has to um, trigger the, the the compressor. Let's have a listen. So that way you can be just a bit more creative with your rhythms and stuff like that. Also, say if the the kick channel was you're in a breakdown situation where you don't want the kick, then you can use your dummy sidechain channel to appear as if the kick's still triggering the pad. There is um, another way that you can set up the sidechain and this way basically you send a bus, bus 2 we'll call this sidechain bus and send your kick to the bus. Now on the bus you just want to set that to no output because again you don't want to hear the actual kick, you're just using it as a trigger. and then select the bus, so this is bus 2 now if you wanted the kick and the snare you can just send that to the same sidechain bus so just to recap, three different ways of triggering the sidechain split your brakes up and just select whichever channel you wish to, to trigger the compressor you can set up a, a dummy track or you can send your kicks and the snares to it's like a, a dummy sidechain bus I guess any questions leave them in the comments hope this helps